All right, this video is for the H's and the Y's here. Here we're running counter to the offensive right. Kicking on to six or wider, you have a five technique. So uh, this should be a Ted double team to the FBI, who I believe is this guy. Um, and then our H is leading up and through the hole, looking for first look at ugly jersey up and in. So, uh, Marlo, this is definitely a, a much better contact. Uh, this is exactly where we should be hitting, kind of down on the hip area. But now here's the thing, Marlo, where the next part of this progression, that hip has now disappeared, and now we should be working up to the linebacker. Okay, this is an excellent do job driving this guy. Okay, but here's the thing. Now our H, or whoever's pulling up into the hole, okay, well, I guess our H really should be taking this guy. Um, I think our H got too far, but it'd be nice if we can work to the next part of the progression where we are working up to the next level uh, because there's still linebackers that we have to deal with. But I do love your aggression. I love your pad level. You're doing everything you need to do uh, on this guy to get him over into the tackles gap, but then let the tackle do his job after you do that. And now we can work up um, to help you also is to make sure we stay square as much as we can to do this. Okay. Um, now watching our H, I like how, I like how you're skip pulling, but then you got to find you you should be inside the kick out. Okay, so here's our guard kicking out. You need to be inside it, right here, because you're looking for linebackers. That's what you should be trying to hit. You should be right in here. Okay, not going out there. We're trying to run the ball inside the kick out. So you should be blocking number seven here. Okay, and if we do that, that's going to be a, a big play. Okay, I just want to look at one thing here. Okay, you could also be a lot tighter to this. You see how far out you are? And that's why our running back is slow. So you should be, as soon as you're getting up here right now, stop um, um, going out this way. Right now, you should be coming, attacking the line of scrimmage. Right now, you should be attacking the line of scrimmage right off of Tommy's butt. You should be right in here. That's where you should be going. Okay, it ends up working out for us because he makes a play, but it's designed to go in the hole. Okay, we're going to have to watch from this view here. So now we have a 3-5 on this side. So our tack was blocking down, and which means you have this guy by yourself, Marlo. Okay, you do a good job punching the hip. You do a good job driving him down, uh, bringing him to the ground. I like it, though. If you kept the if you kept that nice wide base the whole time and try to chop your feet that way we're not falling down with them okay H watching us here once again when we're skipping we can't be don't going so laterally we got to make sure we're trying to stay as tight to this wall as we can that's a better job getting that's exactly what we should be doing here looking inside uh, and we, he's gonna run right off your butt okay but I think we're just uh um, we're going too laterally and I'd like us to be hugging this wall a little bit more, um, as we're doing this. Okay. But you do a nice job looking inside. Okay. Here's a nice view of counter. Okay. So Marlo, you're trying to go down to the five technique. I see, but this guy crosses your face. So this is exactly what you do. You take them and you wash them down and stay on them. Okay, Marlo, you have a bad habit of, okay, I'm going to give a guy a shove and then I'm going to work off to somebody else. Okay, come back and just clean him up. Absolutely clean him up. All right. Um, now watching our puller, we, we get inside the kick out, which is good. It's a good Birkin. Okay, once, but here's the thing. Do you see what you're doing here, Burke? Okay, you're you're coming out and trying to like block this guy. Okay, you need to skip and stay tight, 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 tight. He's kicking out. Trust the guard is going to do his job. You should be right here inside this. Okay. And then you would have been in front to help block one of these guys. Okay. Thankfully, we have a, a heck of an athlete back there running the ball. Okay. But I hope you see what I'm saying. You should be close to this, as close to Marlowe's butt as you can be. That's where you should be right now. 
Okay. Next one. Okay, you need to be inside the kickout, Birkin. Okay, you get out there. You need to be right here off the butt. You need to be right here. That's where you need to be. Oh, we're so close. We're doing a lot of great stuff. Okay, Marlo. Okay, I'd like to see your head in front a little bit more. You do get the hand on the sternum, hand on the hip. Okay, and we're getting great movement off this guy. This is an excellent job. Okay, that's really, really good. Very nice. Okay, there's a pancake for you. That's a nice job there. Okay, next play, power. Okay, we tizzy it. Okay, we should be kicking out this guy, the six technique, but he slants inside. So you take him and wash him. That's exactly what you should do. Now stay on him, though. So this is kind of what I'm talking about. You give him a shove, but then you start work, you looking somewhere else. Stay on that guy. Okay, stay on him. If that's the guy that crosses, if he crosses into your train tracks, you stay on him and you keep blocking him. Okay, you stay on him and keep blocking. Okay, Birkin watching you. That's a good job driving your feet and blocking that guy out. Okay, I like your feet. You're rooted and you lift and drive. I can see you roll your hips here. You roll your hips and you drive into the guy. That's very nice. Let's go back and watch it from this view here. Okay, Marlo, just stay on that guy. Okay. Here, Birkin, that's a good job rolling your hips, staying on the inside half the guy and driving them out. That's excellent. That's exactly what we need on power here. Okay, I think we're starting to find our identity here in the play where we're doing a good job. Okay. Here, this is a, this is a great play. Uh, here we have a TED double team. We should have made a TED call. We're working to the uh, FBI. I actually think that's a safety. So we should be working back to this guy here. Okay. That guy slants inside. So then if he slants inside, we just stay on our train tracks and we work up to the backer, but we got to, this is a thing. He does a nice job staying under you. You got to make sure you stay flat with your path, Marlo. So then you can pick up that linebacker that comes underneath. Okay. So you can pick him up and wall him off. We'll watch from this view here. Okay. Yep. So he comes underneath you. Now, one thing I always say, we want to try to you out linebackers. Okay. So instead of trying to wall him off here, instead of trying to wall him off, he's trying to flow over top to get to the play. Okay. So the best thing you can do is try to stay tight and let him flow over the top. And then you just use his momentum against him and you drive him out because we should be running the, the ball inside that. Okay. So what would be better? I really hope you watch this video, Marlo, because I think it's going to make you better. Okay. What we should do is that when you step down, stay tight here, let him flow over the top, and then you can turn him out and run him and use his momentum against him. And then our running back would just cut right off of your block. Use his momentum against him. It's a lot easier than trying to wall that guy off. Okay. There's another great view of power here. All right. This is on our tackle here. I don't think our tackle should have been out here with you. I think he should have been going down to the back here. I think this should have been a down, down. Okay. They started worrying about uh, us running truck. So if you have a down block, Marlo, just like you're doing, if you have a down block, if he wants to go out, then you just try take him where he wants to go. Okay. Try to stay on his outside. And then we'll let our running back do his thing and run off you. Okay. This is a great job planting them, planting them in the ground. We should have because it's two on one here. But Moseman should have been down on this guy. Okay. Sorry, Burke. And I realize I don't even think I talked about you on the last play. I'll go back and talk about you in a little bit here. Let's watch your kick out block here. Okay. We kind of had like a double team on him, which is good. Okay. Let's watch this one. Good job driving them out. Awesome. Kickouts look really great. Okay, offensive play. 
Troll, watch a truck. Watch some trucks here. All right. Now, this is interesting. Let's watch this block. Okay, we should be breaking our feet down, break our feet down, get our feet rooted. Okay, get our feet rooted, ready for contact, and we'll roll our hips. That's an interesting, it's an interesting block there. <laughs> uh, let's, um, let's not do that one again. We could be called for holding, I feel like, on that one. Okay, uh, let's, let's root our feet and then get our hands inside and drive the guy down to the ground. Okay, let's, uh, let's not dance with them. That's, uh, that's a new one. Okay, Marlo, your rule is gap to backer. Okay. There, I feel like you step down. I, I really can't tell. Do we? Yeah, we don't have end zone of this. I really can't tell where that guy's lined up. He kind of looks like he's a three technique. So what you do, um, if he's so far inside, um, I like what you do where you check to make sure he stays inside. But then we, I feel like we could have worked up a little bit sooner here. Um, now with this guy, if he flows over the top like that, try to get on him and drive him the opposite direction. Okay, go find someone to block. Okay, watch this one here. Marlo, good job blocking down on this guy. Good job putting him on the ground. Excellent job. Birkin, great job getting to your guy. That's a good play there. It's a good truck. No end zone of this one. Okay, we run it the other way, away from the bunch. Down on the five. Stay on him, stay on him, stay on him. Nice job. Another pancake. Birkin getting out there. Good job trying to kick that guy out. I'd love to see you use your hands, though. Well, let me take that back. Let me see here. What I would have loved to have seen, instead of using your hands, I'd love to see your helmet on the inside. Because remember, we're trying to kick this guy out. Okay. If you got your head and hands on the inside here, part of him, um, he would then have to go around you. But since you're on the outside, it's easy for him to fall in. Okay. Easy for him to fall in, get a hand on the guy. Okay. So if you're going to, if you're going to kick him out, have your head on the inside, not on the outside. Okay. Hmm. Now, this is a good one to talk about here. He looks like he's a six eye, right? He's in your gap. So if he's in your gap, you got to block him, right? Even if he goes, even if he goes out, because who else is going to block him, right? This one might have to be one that we, that we talk about here. Um, because I'd rather you stay on that guy because everyone else is responsible for other guys, right? You're responsible for your gap. There's a guy in your gap, so you should be blocking him. He's responsible for the corner. Our tackle is responsible for this linebacker right here. Okay. Really who's responsible for this guy is going to be our center trying to work up to him. Okay. Okay. So if that guy, if the guy in your gap just wants to work out, this is where you got to stay on him. Okay, and block him out. That's what we got to try to do. Okay, Birkin, let's watch you. That guy flies up. Okay, we got to try to get our head on the inside again, okay? Get your head on the inside. We got to be lower. So that see how that guy's lower than you, and he delivers the punch to you. You need to be underneath him and get your head on the inside. That's where we need to be. 
Okay. And Marlowe, one thing I want to say, look how I said the center is going to go to this backer. Look where our center goes. Our center gets this guy. You should be staying on your guy and you drive him out. Because watch, if you would have drove him out, you would have been right there next to Birkin. Alton would have been right there. Okay, this would have been a nice play. Okay, if we were all on our guys. So Marlo, if there's a guy in your gap on the snap of the ball, if he wants to work out, then stay on him and drive him out. Okay. All right. That's good. 